Good evening. For years, Brentwood's Remnant Fellowship has faced questions about its teaching on child discipline. Questions recently revived in the HBO Max docuseries. Now News Channel 5 Chief Investigative Reporter Phil Williams has obtained new video that shows the church's controversial founder being questioned two years before her death about her teachings and about Phil's own investigation into the death of a remnant child. Do you swear or affirm testimony about you giving this matter me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. In this 2019 deposition obtained by News Channel 5 Investigates, Gwen Shamblin, whose Christian diet plan, The Way Down Workshop, morphed into its own religion. Can you see it okay? Yeah, pretty good. From your news and information was confronted with a 2004 News Channel 5 investigation into the child abuse death For wisdom is more precious than of a remnant child, eight-year-old Joseph Smith of Atlanta. If they're not scared of a spanking, he did not spank them. If you haven't really spanked them yet, you don't love them. You love yourself. Was that yourself you just heard on that recording or not? Project to the form. Uh, those were sound bites. Well, I understand uh, that, but was okay. that your voice or not? Yes. Okay. The deposition taken in conjunction with a custody case involving a child fathered by Shamblin's husband, Joe Laura, resurrected old questions about Shamblin's Brentwood Church, the Remnant Fellowship, and its teachings on child discipline. Children that were lost and out of control are now back under the authority of their loving parents. And Questions that have dogged the church ever since two Remnant parents, Joseph and Sonia Smith, were arrested and convicted for young Joseph's murder. Those convictions were upheld by a federal appeals court last year, with one opinion noting overwhelming evidence that the Smiths routinely disciplined their son by beating him with glue sticks, belts, and heated coat hangers, locking him in confined spaces for extended periods of time, and tying his hands with rope. There was no connection between our teachings and the death of that child. So that doesn't get played on TV. Tell me about the use of glue sticks to spank children. Was well, not from here, it came from a member somewhere. In fact, our investigation had uncovered an audio recording from inside Remnant Fellowship. I did exactly what Ted told me to do, take everything out of his room. We got everything out of there and locked him in there from that Friday until Monday and only left him in the room with his bottle. In which Joseph Smith's mother bragged to Shamblin about the harsh punishment inflicted upon their child. And you had a chance to tell her that was not correct. That was not on there. Instead, you said, praise the Lord. No, that was not on there. We are spoiling these kids. We are, you know, ruining their lives by even letting them think about themselves at all. So thank you, Sonia, for sharing that. In the deposition, Champlin was confronted with her own words. But do you think it's wrong for kids to think about themselves? Check to the form. Of course not. Everybody loves themselves, everybody feeds themselves, everybody's, you know, when you're sleepy, sleep, when you're thirsty, eat. Whatever you need, you need love, you need that. But the fact is, is that That'd be the opposite of what I would teach. After News Channel 5's report, police raided Shamblin's Way Down workshop looking for evidence. Shamblin, for the first time, describes an exhaustive investigation. What they did from Phil Williams doing this, they had to go investigate it. DCS, CPS, investigated homes. Um, they, invest, uh, they took all my teachings, all of it, this entire server, every book, everything, and the police and the FBI and the TBI, they all kept it for over a year and went through every teaching and they closed the case. Investigators have said they never found evidence that Shamblin or anyone else at Remnant Fellowship ever intended for anything as horrific as what happened to Joseph. Have you ever used um, a belt to spank any of your kids? No. I'm not real sure what the purpose of the question is. Still in the deposition, Shamblin's lawyer, remnant leader Russ Morgan, made it clear he's fed up with such insinuations. I'm just getting sick of hearing people talk about spanking when I was spanked when I was a kid my whole life, like assuming that my parents were bad parents. Okay. It's noted for the record. I was spanked by my principal in, in, in elementary school and high school. Well, it seems like you're taking this very personally. I am. I'm getting sick of hearing about spanking being wrong. 
18 years later, Remnant Fellowship continues to argue that young Joseph died as a result of a skin-related infection and not child abuse. Remnant's lawyer has now been involved in multiple appeals on behalf of the parents who've lost back at the trial court at the Georgia Supreme Court, a federal court in Atlanta, as well as a federal appeals court. We've posted all those rulings so you can read them for yourself.